Hello, and welcome to a review of the Ban Presto Age of Heroes Hawks statue. Uh, this is a pretty new one as of the time of uploading this, and honestly, this is a statue I've been looking forward to for quite some time. So, as I mentioned, it's part of the Age of Heroes My Hero Academia range by Ban Presto. I do believe this is number 12. Um, and it says two there because, as we'll see at the bottom, it does actually mention this is um, Age of Heroes Hawks and Red Riot because I think this is released in like a two part set, which is confusing because I'm sure this statue's been out a while, right? I could be wrong with that, but uh, we'll take a quick look at the box and then we'll crack into it. So we've got a very nice uh, shot there. It's a bit stylized, they've kind of um, added cell shading or something, which is interesting. So as you can see on the side, it's not a cell shaded statue, if that makes sense. This is a regular statue, which is kind of what I was hoping for, because it, it would feel out of place with the rest of my Age of Heroes statues. And that's a look at his face there, and that's the back we just looked at with uh, Red Riot as well. So, um, right, well there's not much else to say really. I'm going to crack this open, and then we'll pull him out and assemble him, and then take a look. Alright, that's the box opened. Yeah, and he's going to be coming in a triangular cardboard thing, as always. Oh, and that as well. Okay then, man, got some extra cardboard today. Oh yeah. Let's pull this out. So just in case you've never seen how this is packaged before. Uh, oh, oh, his wings are separate. Okay, interesting. So we've got the base, we've got the wings, we've got the head and the torso and stuff. So, right, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this now, and I'll be right back, and then we can actually take a look at the statue proper. BRB. Alright, I am back, and I have built the statue. So, I'm just going to say, off the bat, uh, the building process was not exactly the smoothest this time. I'll kind of get onto it in a minute, but um, take a look at the statue. I'll, I'll explain as we go, basically. But... I am pretty pleased with it, um, as with the rest of the Age of Heroes statues, to be honest. There's a lot more detail than I was kind of anticipating. I don't know why, whenever I open up these, I always think that the image on the front is all kind of like photoshopped and looks really great. Um, when, I, when I put them together, I'm like, oh wait, no, it does, it really does have that um, level of detail. So, let's begin. So, the first thing that I had a little bit of trouble with, no, not a ton, but um, a little bit, his feet uh, are a little bit not, w well, they weren't wide enough for the thing sticking out, so you kind of have to bend it a little bit. And it kind of feels a bit precarious, I don't know why, I mean he is in a leaning pose, so I think the statue itself is not the most stable, as it were, but you know, it's still pretty cool. Um, so, we'll begin, he's got some nice boots, some, some pretty standard black, oh, bit of dust there, um, yeah, standard black boots, and as we work our way up, we've got the, um, the standard band presto thing of the, they love putting the accents in the clothing, the kind of folds and creases and stuff, which I love. Um, I know it's probably an easy process by now, but genuinely it really adds to the uh, appeal. So we've got his hands in his pockets, because Hawx is all casual like that. Um, also, just a heads up, I've not seen any of Season 5 yet, so I can't talk much about Hawks as a character, because I've only seen him in the second movie, and like, that bit with Endeavour at the end of Season 4, which is really cool, but um, I bought him because I really love the design. Uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for characters with wings, I don't know why. Wings and capes and hoods, like, are three things that if a character has... I'm down. I, I'm I'm sold. Like I like that character, and I, I don't fully understand why. But we move on up to his jacket, which of course is pretty well made too. We've got the little fur-lined pockets, all the buttons and stuff. Um, you know, uh, there's not much I can say at this point. Uh, if you've seen my previous, you know, Ban Presto My Hero Academia reviews, you'll know that I'm really really impressed with them for the price point, especially. These statues are incredible. So, we've got his t-shirt. I don't know exactly where that symbol is. That's probably maybe a, a hero company that he's a member of or something. I I can't fully remember. So, I've got to give him credit as well for his, his face there. Really darn nice. Uh, you know, the kind of lazy, kind of half-assed smirking kind of face or whatever. 
and we've got his headphones which are really nice well detailed and we've got the transparency on his shades and stuff you can technically see his eyes behind them as well i don't think i get a good angle there particularly uh one thing i did notice as well so that quiff there of his hair according to this stands up quite prominently uh see like that it stands out from his hair a little bit now i could maybe do that with this but i'm a little bit scared to do that not gonna lie um See, it stands out a very nominal amount, but I feel like if I put any proper amount of pressure, it would snap. Uh, I don't want to bother with gluing things back in place or wherever. So, you know, his hair as well is pretty darn nice. We've got, uh, you know, everything's layered and stuff. He's got his fur collar and stuff. Now, we get on to the thing that I'm not crazy about with this statue. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. It's definitely pretty cool is the wings. Right, so we start off, the wings themselves are really nice. The layering and stuff, the like, the dynamicness of it and stuff, everything's not exactly smooth, there's like, you know, feathers sticking out a little bit. They're not, you know, perfectly in line, but they're pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a better view. As you can see, you know, they're, um, they're as good as you'd expect. Like, I'm sure you could probably get better detailing on a more expensive statue, but, this is kind of, you know, what what you'd want for this price point, I think. And, you know, they, they do look a little bit different and stuff, each wing as well, which really sets it apart. So, the one thing I'm not crazy about is they attach in the back here. And as you can see, I can't really tell. So, there's this metallic bit, which I don't know is actually in his costume or not. Um, that looks like it should run flush because it, like, goes up there and dips down. And no matter how much I press in, this one especially just kind of stands out, if that makes sense. And this bottom part, oh dear, kind of swivel. Oh wait, hang on. Is that going in better? Oh my god, am I... I no, wait, no, it hasn't. Um, maybe a little better? I don't know. And the thing is, I don't really want to push it particularly hard because it feels like this wing part may snap off from there. I don't think it will, to be honest. This is probably built a lot sturdier than I'm giving it credit for. But you you can never be too sure, really. And this side kind of went in a little bit better, to be honest. But it drives me a little crazy that it, it doesn't run exactly flush. You've got, like, this sticky out bit there. It just it looks awkward. Um... I don't know, I, I understand that this is probably the best they could do at this price point. Um, you know, I'm sure if it's a more expensive statue, maybe you could have like magnets or something held in. I know more expensive statues do that, but as it stands though, he is a pretty darn cool statue. So you can replicate the pose, or well, the, I say the pose, he's already posed. You know what I mean, you can replicate the kind of um, degree and stuff. He's doing, I could drop the camera down a little bit. But yeah, it's not bad. It's just one of those things you don't really want to display him like that. Because honestly, that look, uh, I don't know. That For some reason, that just sticks out as my biggest gripe with this statue. Um, it definitely knocks a point or two off. But you know, for the most part though, this is a pretty darn cool hoax statue. Um, yeah, I've got to say, I wouldn't place it in like my top and stuff. I still think maybe Le Million is one of my favourite Age of Heroes. Probably my favourite, I think. Um, it's just clean. It's, it's, it does exactly what you want. However, this is really nice as well. Um, I like Hawks as a character. I really like his design, as I've mentioned. And I'm glad to add him to my collection. So... Stick around uh, in a minute because I'll do like a photo collage uh, with some of the other Age of Heroes statues just to kind of, you know, show off what displays you could pull off and stuff. But that about wraps up my review. Um, if I had to give it a score out of 10, I would say like 7, maybe 8. I don't know. It's Those wings just slightly bother me. Um, and I don't know why. I was kind of expecting those wings to be bigger. But I think that's just my memory, because th this seems in scale. This doesn't seem off for anything. 
But yeah, that, uh, that wraps it up. If you do want to watch some other My Hero Academia statue reviews, I'll leave a playlist at the end of the video here. And um, as I said, I'm going to jump in now to do a bit of a um, photo collage with other statues and stuff, just to show his kind of scale and things. Uh, but until next time, goodbye.